you have a college degree, it's fine. If you are illiterate, it's fine. If you are successful in life, it's fine. If you are a couch potato, it's still fine. If you are married with children, it's fine. If you are forever single and childless, that's fine too. Any state of being that you're in right now is fine. You know why? Because it's part of a much bigger picture that will only make sense to you after you've gone through it and come out the other side just fine. You'll realize that the closed doors, rejections, hard times, struggles, and the failure to achieve the things you wanted and things others wanted for you were actually this, some sort of rite of passage to get you ready for the role that you were created to play. And yes, we have a role to play. We all have a role to play. And no, it cannot be done by aspiring to be a carbon copy of each other or by caving to societal pressures to mimic every possible standards of the era you're in. And in this video, we will explore the idea or the possibilities of you achieving the things you want in life but also the fact that you will be okay even if you don't get to tick every single thing on your bucket list or become like every other person on earth. But before we do that, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, here on this channel, I talk about how you can find your passion and go after it at any age, how you can find balance even at the most difficult times in your life and how you can be happy with the things and the people you already have surrounding you. So if you're interested, make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, let's get to today's topic. All right, so number one is it's all an illusion. Everything you see has its origin or cause hidden in the hidden realms, and you're only experiencing the surface of the entire reality. You can only make sense of the physical manifestation of things and not why they came to be. You have to realize that most of the things that are happening in your life have a purpose. And you being one way or another is never inherently wrong or dangerous. The negative emotions attached to your failures are also all fake. Because even the types of concerns or worries that you have are vastly different in different cultures. You have to know that a lot of the things that are bothering you now are partly your own psychological drama and your inability to see beyond the illusion, beyond the imperfect nature of the world appearing real and consequential at all times. The truth is even your own existence is sort of an illusion. You don't know how long you have here and yet you're spending every waking hour worried to death about mediocre and superficial achievements. And instead, what you have to do is to never worry about things too much and just work with what you have without being too attached to the outcome. And also, you have to realize that if you can muster enough energy to keep the negative thoughts and emotions out of it, it turns out that you can actually use that hidden realm, that invisible realm that we talked about earlier, into bringing your ideas or transforming your ideas into your reality. But this takes practice because you've always thought that messing up with physical forms was the only way to change things in your life. But the reality is akin to ordering stuff online. You have no idea how that stuff is made and you're not bothered with it. But using the magic of the internet or your phone, you order it and in a matter of days, it's on your table. And it's the same with life. You have to ask with conviction and belief that you will receive. But in order to do that, you have to be aware of the very persuasive nature of the illusion and get yourself to believe in the invisible that creates everything in the visible world. Number two is you are the key. So worry comes from the wrong assumption that there exist outside forces and circumstances that are insurmountable and set in stone. You are unaware of your own power as a co-creator of your reality so naturally you worry and you inadvertently create the situation that you're afraid of. So every time a negative thought comes and hijacks your entire mind and it creates more negative thoughts resulting in emotional turmoil within you, in your inner world, there is going to be a parallel on your outside world reflecting what's happening here. You can pretend to be happy all you want, but you know that things are 
you know, taking a wrong turn out there as long as you keep entertaining these thoughts within you. Besides, it really doesn't matter what's happening out there when you are experiencing them from the negativity within you. You can be in the most beautiful place and still feel dark and depressed. The reason being is that you can only experience things from within. The shift of understanding from my emotions are the result of the things that are happening out there to things that are happening in my life are as a result of my emotions. My predominant thoughts and emotions that I choose to hold on to will change everything. Because even if things are going wrong in your life with a can-do attitude, you will have the energy and positivity needed to change your life, to bring positive change in your life. Something that you cannot do with your doom and gloom thinking. And the way to do it is to practice restraint from always externalizing your problems. Because when you do that, you are losing your power to see what's really happening. No one's doing anything to you. The world is not conspiring against you. You're not being shadow banned from anything. And you will only know this if you practice your own power, if you really uh, make the effort to see what's really happening. Is it really that the outside world has so much power over you that you can't do anything, that you can't achieve anything, that your life is a mess? Or is there something that you haven't figured out yet that others have and seem to use it to their benefit? You have to wake up from your deep sleep and see that your thoughts and emotions are always behind the events in your life. Because it's a real curse to have the key in your hands and still wonder what tool opens this door. It has to be clear to you that worry or not, whatever is occupying your mind is giving birth to its correspondent reality in your outside world. And when you're complaining about not having enough, not being able to achieve the things you want, you know, just your misfortunes being the hot topic of your life, you're basically admitting your ignorance. You are ignorant about your own power, how powerful you are. and it's time to change that. Number three is you are disrupting the plan. Your journey, your unique journey is marked with ups and downs, essential for your growth and expansion and eventually your spiritual awakening, which is your awakening to your true nature. And when you disrupt the perfectly lined up events in your life that lead you to your final destination through worry and disappointment, you're basically coming between you and your purpose on earth. When you act in frenzy and desperation, when you force things and people, when you try to manipulate the outside world for your own benefit, you are slowly losing your divine power to overcome and triumph and instead cower and resort to ridiculous and frivolous actions that bring nothing of value to you. If there is a lesson to be learned, you have to learn it. If there is an experience that may be outside of your comfort zone, but it is necessary for your growth, you have to go through it. You have to know that things are happening in your life in order to push you, you know, just give you a nudge towards your purpose in life. Because most of the things that you want to achieve in life, you will only achieve through the willingness to be outside of your comfort zone. Because if these were the things that you could achieve with things that you're already comfortable with, you would have them now. So make sure you're ready for the challenge, which will inevitably show up on your journey to achieving the things you want in life. But at the same time, develop the insight that not all of your interests and your goals will stay relevant to you throughout your life. So make sure to accommodate these changes that are going to take place even with your own plans. 